Okay, so hey guys, welcome back. So in this part, we're going to go ahead and finish off the uh, rest of the this back panel. So we're just going to go ahead and give this some uh, thickness and then go ahead and add in the extra edge loop so it will hold its shape. And then that's it for um, this part of the uh, series. So um, let's go ahead and um, first off, uh, as you can see, I quickly finished off the holes that I told you I'll do off the screen. Um, so you guys don't have to watch me do it. Hopefully you guys finished um, that as well before you go ahead and um, crack on with this part of the uh, series. So let's go ahead and uh, select the whole object. And we can go ahead and uh, just extrude the whole thing. Okay, so I'm just giving it some thickness like so. Okay, and as I extruded panel. And now all we gotta do is just add in the support and edge loops for this so it will hold its shape nicely when we go ahead and um, smooth this. So let's go ahead and uh, use our insert edge loop tool and let me just make sure that I go ahead and reset this. Um, let's go ahead and deselect all these faces, okay. So insert edge loop tool and let's go ahead and start adding these guys in. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this series so far. Um, but hopefully by the end of this you guys should have uh, no issues modeling uh, the things that you want. Um, I mean we've been through quite a lot of stuff especially like cutting in holes and so on so um, you should have no issues with modeling the things that you need. Well as long as they're hard surface I guess. So, um, the reason why we are leaving out the uh, the uh, top part for last because that's actually the hardest bit. So, hopefully you guys will enjoy that uh, when we go ahead and go through that top panel. Um, that, that will be probably one of the hardest things to make um, or cut in or and so on. As in like cutting the, uh, the holes for it and so on. So. Hopefully that will be, uh, you guys will learn a lot from that. And it will be pretty similar to what we're doing on the back here, really. Um, it's just the fact that um, the edge flow on that piece is a little bit more complicated. Um, but apart from that, it's pretty much the same thing. So I'm just carrying on adding in these edge loops. Uh, so hopefully it will smooth properly. Okay, we can always adjust the thickness of this, so I'm not too worried about that for now. So it shouldn't take us too long. I thought I'll add in, as, add in this part as well for this. And then in the uh, next part that we'll go ahead and uh, publish hopefully soon, we'll go ahead and go through how to add in the, uh, the inner pieces for this. So like the mesh up here and um, the sort of other panel on the bottom of this uh, panel as well. But hopefully by the end of the next sort of episode we'll go ahead and uh, finish the back of the case completely and then we can go ahead and move on to um, can go ahead and move on to the next lot. So I'm just checking here um, actually I don't need to add that in because we want that smoothed. Okay. So if you want, you can go ahead and add in uh, the uh, extra loop that I said. So the extra edges, so this will smooth a little bit nicer. But because you're not really going to see it from up close, um, I'm not going to worry about it so much. So as you can see, we'll probably only render it out from like this far away. So I really don't want to spend uh, a lot of time making sure that these uh, corners are perfectly smooth. So again here, you can add in some extra uh, divisions. So we'll go ahead and smooth a little bit nicer than this. So now I'm just gonna smooth it all and look around it, make sure I haven't missed anything. I mean, for this part, because it's gonna be sitting inside the case, uh, it doesn't matter too much. Well, I say inside, but still want it to look good, don't we? So here I'm just going to add the edges around here. Let's move a little bit nicer. 
go all the way down to the bottom. Let's go across, add it here as well. Okay, for that, that will be fine. That will be fine. Okay, so I think this should smooth quite nicely now. Let's go ahead and smooth this. Okay, there's something freaking is going on here. All right, it's because of that. Uh, so yeah, when I um, added in these extra holes, I just sort of cheated it and I merged these uh, verts that do not have a place and yeah, it will make a triangle. But uh, it shouldn't cause too many issues. I'm not exactly sure why um, this is freaking out so much. Hopefully you guys don't have the issue, that issue. I think it's because this these verts uh, <coughs> didn't merge properly. So I'm just going to select them to merge them. And it's still doing it. The triangle shouldn't cause too many issues, really. So I'm just gonna. Okay, there we go. That's why it's doing it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that here as well. So make that into a triangle. I mean, I, I mean, you guys are not gonna have this issue, so I'm not even gonna do it now. But uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure these are the, these verts are merged, and maybe even sort this triangle out. So I'll go ahead and cut this up there. Okay, but apart from that, a uh, lot of places where I've done it, it looks all fine. Okay, so this piece is finished. So let's go ahead and move this into the position that it needs to be in. I'm just going to go ahead and modify center pivot. Oh, not make live. Modify center pivot while it's still selected. Okay, and now we're just going to go ahead and try to line this up nicely. So again, because we gave this a uh, piece of thickness, we can go ahead and push this in and leave a little bit of a gap like so. And that will show up nicely on our render. Oh, that was too much. Okay, so somewhere around there, that looks great. Okay, so this inner piece is finished as well. Next, we're gonna go ahead and, um, so in the next part, we're gonna go ahead and add in this mesh, um, cut in or create this panel. Okay, it should be really simple. We're just going to go ahead and use a plane and then we'll go ahead and create these bits as well. And hopefully by then we can go ahead and add in these rubber grommets, the screws, and this part will be all finished as well. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Um, we'll finish off the back next time and then we'll go ahead and move on to the top of the case and we should be ready to go with the outside of the mesh shortly. Okay, so we'll see you guys next time.